Behold, this arena will be built for Rome. Peacock's new series of Gladiatorium and the Empire of Rome, Those About to Die. From director Roland Emmerich, who has given us Independence Day, The Patriot, Stone Wall, and many other countless great TV series and movies. And I'm glad to say that this is no exception. This season opens up really strong with its world building, displaying the strength and struggles of the time period. The cast is great and continued throughout to show a lot of range and emotion. Here you get a much subtle and slower burn, as opposed to your other similar action series such as Spartacus. And yes, the series does have some dodgy CGI here and there, but that's a given. But it does look better than Spartacus, in my opinion, as far as the cinematography, the lighting, the color, and the direction is honestly stronger, in my opinion. The green screen CGI background in Spartacus just really takes you out of it, and it, it is a little better here, in my opinion. I feel like the staying power for those about to die is a little more promising due to the character development and different range of characters that we're introduced to. So far, this is graphic with nudity, but not so much in blood, and that could be an issue with some fans. Whereas Spartacus' strength is its stylized action, and it does have a lot more sex. So, I mean, you know. So for Jupiter's sake, and his cock. But it just depends what you prefer, really, at the end of the day. But both feature and go representation, that's nice, always. Spartacus is more action-packed and in-your-face, so I'd hope to see more as the show progresses. Both being excellent shows in their own regard and representing the time period. If you're going into the show strictly for Anthony Hopkins, you're going to be a little disappointed because he has a very little screen time. But his name is basically to get people on board. The show definitely kept me invested the whole time and wanting to see more. But it's on Peacock, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. What is your thoughts? This is also a good opportunity to mention that Spartacus is getting a reboot, House of Asher. I thought they ended that really well too, so I mean, I don't know. What do you think of that as well?